Good morning. We have breaking news right now. Overstock CEO Patrick Byrne taking a medical leave of absence from the company. He joins me right now in a Fox Business exclusive. Patrick, thanks very much for joining us. You are just getting this out right now that you will be taking a medical leave of absence. Tell us about it, Patrick. Yes. Well, 30 years ago in China, I contracted Hep C, got a bad head wound, and a barefoot doctor, they call them, sewed me up. Uh, it went stage four. Actually, I'll give you the facts. Well, I went stage four last summer. Seemed to have gotten through the treatment, but it's been quite harsh on me. And it's on top of kind of a long, I've actually had now 106 surgeries, 51 times they stopped my heart electrically and another 50 times chemically. So I'm up to 200 times looking for that light. And I've got sort of four months. And uh, before I then get to my next decision point, so I figured I'm going to go enjoy Four or five months. Well, what do you mean four months? Tell us about this oh. four months. What, what's the next decision that you have to make? Well, it depends on what happens. It depends on what happens with the with. Uh, depends on whether things come back and all kind. Of, so who who knows? Uh, but I, I'm sort of waiting out four months, and I feel very badly because of this medication I've been on, uh, and just really on top of all the. It's it's like 200 times now they've put me under. But it's just getting a little old, so really? I need to go take a little so, break. Um, uh, we appreciate you, you telling us about this right here, right now. Has the illness gotten worse? Do you feel the effects of the illness having gotten worse? The, it was really bad for the last, uh, between the heart and that and everything else, it was really bad for the last several, uh, several years. More heart problems and all kinds of other stuff. But, uh, yeah, it got really tough. It, it got really tough it over, say, a, it's gotten really tough in the last six months. Patrick, how are you being treated for the hepatitis C? Are you on, because there are a couple of really blockbuster breakthrough drugs, right? Solvaldi was one, Harmony is another one. Unfortunately, those don't work as well. On, I have a strain contracted in Central Asia, and they don't really, the ones being developed here in the U.S. don't really work uh, very sort of 23% success rate on other ones. So then they can go to more dramatic measures and pull out organs and chemotherapy and stuff like that. No big deal. Don't worry. I've been in worse places 20 times medically. This is, no, I'm not scared one way or another, but I don't mean to alarm. It's kind of funny now. The SEC, you can't, since Steve Jobs sort of shuffled everything under the table, you can't just say now medical leave of absence. The lawyer said you actually have to explain what the disease is and so on and so forth, prognosis. Were you getting pressure from the board? I see that you are also making a recommendation to the board who you would like to see as the acting CEO. Did you get pressure in order to, as a result of the implications of, uh, of the sickness? Not at all. We have a wonderful board. We have a really wonderful broad spectrum board, which includes actually a wonderful plaintiff's attorney named Joe DeBacco, who has helped us. You know, he's usually on the other side, and so it's been wonderful to have him on our board. No pressure at all. But I'm in, I'm in a lot of pain. and. Uh, so I have a great, I'm proposing to the board a wonderful CEO. He's our general counsel. He's the man who built not only BitTorrent and Razor, but Skull Candy. He's a, uh, he's a, when some 20 somethings in Park City, Utah came up with the idea for some colorful earbuds <laughs> and they needed some adult supervision. They hired this guy and he built Skull Candy. His name's Mitch Edwards. He built Skull Candy, the two and a half billion dollar company and he's perfectly capable of leading us as CEO. This sounds great. I mean, you're doing everything that a CEO should be doing in a transition um, environment, right? And you're being very transparent about it. I think one of the most exciting things, though, that's happening, and you seem to be at the forefront of it, is blockchain technology, right? And that seems to be really revolutionizing the financial services space. Can you talk about what you're doing, on, doing in that space? Sure. Overstock was the first retailer over a million dollars to take Bitcoin. We were at 1.4 billion. We did that just to get experience with the blockchain blockchain because we knew that the blockchain could be applied to a lot of other things in the world including and especially Wall Street the Wall Street processes and I have a long history with Wall Street so we've actually been at the forefront of applications of blockchain to Wall Street uh, where the we built a SEC approved uh, ATS dark pool that can trade blockchain securities overstocks the first company that has permission from the SEC to issue a blockchain security and we've made some announcements in the last few weeks that we are going ahead and doing a rights offering we've computer share has come out as is going to be involved as has Georgia Sen. 
you've been so active on Twitter and sort of out there individually. Do you expect to continue doing that sort of while you step down from, from the company? Oh, no. I'm completely unplugging. I'm going big mountain skiing in Alaska, Alaska. And I'm going to go heli skiing for a week or two and then go maybe sit on a beach somewhere and swim. Patrick, we wish you the best. Thank you, Maria. Thank maybe you I'll so see much. you someday. We hope so. Patrick Byrne joining us sure. there, CEO at Overstock.